Okay, here we are playing more Fear Spellbots and we're continuing on with the Wiley Space Station here. Just check my recording, everything looks good, very nice. I probably should check that before getting in, but yeah. Anyway, let's see here. Last time I played with Proto Man, right? Should we give Bass another try? I think we will. Let's see. I just gotta refamiliarize myself a little bit here. Yeah. We have a lot of good weapons. I really like the Thunderclaw on, on this guy here. It's very rapid firing and yeah, with this movement he can really slap <laughs> enemies with it. <laughs> Whoops. How do we... Yeah, this is how we deal with these guys. And it seems like we will have fire gimmicks here in this stage. Or the fire dispensers, whatever you wanna call them. Oh my! Uh, can we say this? We can. Um, yeah, here. Let's use this. Nice! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> I got a bit lucky there, I have to say. Hmm, well, yeah. No reason not to get this. Yeah, like, jumps like this is really easy with Bass, since, you know, you just walk out into air and then you jump. Uh, so there is basically no chance, or, well, there is a chance you might bonk your head, but it's much lower than with Mega Man and Proto Man. That's a good point of picking him as well, I guess. I, I gotta admit, like, I give him... I give him Bass a bad rap, you know, in the past, but... I don't know, he's, he's kind of been growing on me a little bit. Just just a little bit, though. I still prefer Mega Man and Proto Man, but yeah. I have definitely been a little bit harsh on the guy. <laughs> it can be pretty fun to play with, actually. And I did not mean to do that, but <laughs> I guess it works. And... This, very nice. Take you out. And I'd rather not touch these. Nice, dude. Another very fine point of picking this guy. Although, I guess you could just use Rush Coin with the other two as well. Oh my. Oh, this is a intimidating <laughs> whopper enemy here. Let's just. Yeah, here is where Bass is not as great. Like, yeah. <laughs> with his regular Buster, he can't deal as much damage as the other two. So yeah, I gotta be a little bit careful here. Okay, I'm jumping way too early. There you go. That was a perfect jump there at the end. Pretty nice pedestal here, too, that he's standing on. Over here. <laughs> that was a very nice placement. Or, well, I, I placed myself very nicely there, I gotta admit, huh? And yeah, once again, here we could just jump through the whole darn room. Well, not quite. Um, well, maybe you could have. Maybe I just mis uh, mistimed it. Okay. <laughs> and another one of these guys, eh? Well... Let's just be very patient with this. Whoa! Crap! <laughs> That's a very nice use though with Bass here. Like, even if you fall off the ladder there, you can still jump up as you saw me do there. That's, yeah. Another nice perk of him, or with him in this stage here. Had I been Mega Man or Proto Man? Well, with Proto Man, you could have just deflected, you know, all his rings. He would be, yeah, whopper enemies with Proto Man or. Dang it. <laughs> Actually kind of easy, you know. Oh, thank god. We we took... Or we got a checkpoint along the way. Nice. Okay, well, see you in a bit. Whew. 
Whew, okay, back here again. I used the Belade Ballad Cracker on the Bopper enemies this time, so yeah. That really made them a lot easier. <laughs> Since it pierces their ring husk there, if you will. Now... Do we use... Oh, yeah. Oh, sh 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 that is so scary. Yeah, I probably should try and use some of these weapons a little bit more too. Yeah, that was... That was a really nice use of the... Freaking... What are they called again? The commander... Commander bomb. The commando bombs there. And I forget. Where did I die the first time? Oh! Okay, I guess I died on those... First shadow platform back there. <laughs> oh! What? Oh! Oh! Dude! No, dude, I'm not doing this uh, with Proto Man. He can't fire through walls. Huh. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm doing it like this. I could use a ton of E tanks on them, but yeah. To beat them. But, yeah, the hate would just not have been worth it. And actually, we do get quite a few refills here, so, yeah. I'm gonna use this here, and hopefully I don't fall here <laughs> and miss it. That would have been really, really bad, even. Let's see, let's just use our trusted weapons. Very nice. It's also kind of cool how the explosion hangs around for a sector, so it still hurts, even if you misfire, I guess. And yeah, this is... Oh, so scary. Oh my god. You probably just want to jump there. Don't slide. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Ah, I totally could have not. Uh, yeah, I could have avoided the shield attack there, but yeah, I panicked just a little bit too much there. Dude, he... <laughs> he foiled my plans. Whoa, okay. <laughs> well, 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 well. Um, there. Ooh, well. Oh! I know I could have just double jumped it, but I wanted to see. I wanted to see what it felt like doing it. <laughs> you know, jumping. Do, jumping it the regular way, basically. Hmm. A bit more room to maneuver in here, and. Well, even, the, even with that, I still managed to screw things up there. I do know what to do here, though. We're just gonna. Yeah. Well, first of all, we don't. We just gotta not suck, and yeah. Well, that's really all of it. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't suck. It really wasn't that uh, bad of a yum. Wow. Very nice. Hm. Well. Oh, I want that! Nice! <laughs> Very cool. Now, let's do that in the intended way here. <laughs> let's not... Com <laughs> completely cheesy. Well, I missed the shadow platform there. Well, not the shadow platform, but the upcoming one. Uh, let's, just, bleh, let's just move on. And holy crap, this is as close as you can get to them. Let's see here. Well, you know, let's just take him out. That has to be close to pixel perfect if you want to dodge it. I'm sure it's possible, but very, very hard. Hmm. Well, let's just not screw around with this guy and let's just make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Hmm. 
Uh, <laughs> I could not have timed that any worse at all, literally. Okay, we're back here again. Um, now let us see. Let us see. It was not quite here, but yeah, in the next room, I believe. So yeah, we'll still go ahead and keep going from here. Now, how do we want to deal with this guy? Let's just. Yeah, we gotta time this perfectly. Like, yeah, nice. Now. There we go. I'm very careful here. Alright. And yeah, we're definitely picking that up. There is no question about it. Uh, okay. Oh! <laughs> wow, that was a very nice shot on, the, on that dude's behalf there. Round of applause to him. <laughs> well, get out the buster. Be ready to fire. Nice. I actually kind of realized that you can actually double jump to make dodging this a little bit easier as well. So, yeah. Now. Hmm. This guy is more like of a kind of dodge challenge, not really, you don't really have to fight him, yeah, you just gotta get up past him, basically. Now we can just do whatever we want to him. And, yeah, but <laughs> very cool, big help. <laughs> the stage is still going on. These levels are incredibly long. Were it this long too in um, in the third game? Maybe they were and I just forgot. I remember they, well, I remember the Vitus stages were very long, definitely. Like 50, 60 screens, something or other. Ooh, that was a very interesting shield attack there. Wait, I don't have my keys anymore. Huh. Well, I guess you you lose them if you die once. <laughs> That's very interesting. And yeah, <laughs> let us try this actually. Oh, they are immune to it. God damn it! <laughs> that would have been interesting though. Well, I think that since there's a ceiling here. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot easier to fight them, so maybe I won't use the rain flash here on these guys. They won't be shocking as many blades here. But yeah, I'm not doing it with the buster because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would basically have to do this. <laughs> well. What do we use? Let's just use this, I guess. You know what? <laughs> I said I wouldn't do it, but screw it. It's gonna take so long to kill all of these otherwise. I'm just gonna speed it up. I probably still am gonna have to use an E tank here, even with using that. Now, let's try and find their weakness here. But well, it sure is like that. Um, is it? Well, that's amusing, but that's not the... That's not the weakness. Maybe it is the C-bomb and you need to just... Thread the needle here. Well, <laughs> that's the... Secondary weakness, that's totally not worth it. It's probably this, actually. Ooh. Oh my god, you're so satisfying. This is the perfect weakness for them. 
The perfect weakness, that was really, yeah, that was an awesome weapon to have for the weaknesses there. So now I gotta jot down, like, yeah, only 8 D-Tanks left. Only 8. Alright, so, okay, back here again, let's thumb still, thumb still level up, thumb the level up. Um, once again, um, another pretty cool Wily stage here, um, by Heavy Elite. Uh, this stage certainly was pretty hard, very long, <laughs> very ass long. Um, the Mega Man 3 gimmick items were used to do, bleh, to do, <laughs> used to deadly effect, and perhaps most of all, the Whopper enemies were pretty damn tricky to deal with. Like, Bass definitely helped a lot through the whole level. Like his double jump really made mincemeat of the second stage here, especially if you would have abused it even more so than I did. Um, the Whopper enemies were the only enemies or the only obstacles that really got a lot harder with, uh, with him as far as I could see. Um, since, you know, his buster deals very low damage. So if you play a vanilla run and don't use uh, special weapons, you know, they can be definitely a bit tricky to deal with. But yeah, heck, even if you pick him and have troubles with them, you could just switch to the Belayed Cracker or, you know, to the... Um, bullet reflector there, you know, you have options definitely to dispatch of them very easily, even if you don't pick Proto Man or Mega Man, which no doubt have, you know, charge, chargeable busters there, so, yeah. Oh, and, let's see, yeah, I, I really like the last buster too, like, no way in hell I would do that, <laughs> buster only on bass, but the, using the weakness felt really good, it was very satisfying to shank him down there, so, yeah. Very cool stage, it forced me to use an E-Tank, and yeah, not very many stages have made me do that, so, <laughs> very nice, and yeah, I guess we'll just round it up with that, uh, I'll not, I won't be playing a, uh, the third stage here, I think I'll just keep doing one stage per video here, so yeah, uh, we'll just keep on doing one episode per recording session more or less, so yeah, I hope that's fine. Either way, <laughs> once again, I'll round it off now. Um, thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.